Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be reviewing a few Arteza products that I was recently sent free of charge for my honest review of the products and a video. Everything I'm going to be talking about today I did receive free, however um, these are my opinions so I will tell you exactly what I think of the products themselves and how you might be able to use them for your own planning or journaling use. To begin, let's start with these real brush pens. The real brush pens, I, I actually requested to receive these because I wanna get into lettering. And I've tried a few different pens so far. I haven't really found ones that I really like as far as, you know, I'm a beginner. I do have fairly neat handwriting, but as you guys know, if you've tried it, brush lettering is a whole new beast. And so um, I really just wanted to see how their pens felt in the hand and how they performed as far as on the paper. So let's crack this guy open so I can show you the actual pens. I got the set of 48, and so it comes in these kind of plastic trays. Dun, dun, dun. And I've opened this already once, so things are not as neat and clean as they arrive. It comes in, yeah, these four different trays of the different pens, and then you also get this blender water pen, which I believe you just fill it up with water and then you use that to blend out the colors when you want to do some blending. So we'll give that a try a little bit later. Let me just talk a little bit more about the pens themselves first and then we'll get into that. So we have these 48 pens and if you saw my video previously about Arteza products, you'll know that I received this set of Inconic pens for review a few months ago. So these pens, um, it, it's pretty good because these are like more of like a fine liner pen. And on the back they show you all of the different colors. And what I really like about these real brush pens, I'm gonna put them kind of down here, is that the colors are actually the same in this set. So if you need both fine liners and real brush pens, the colors match up, I believe, 100%. We're gonna do a little swatch test in a minute and then you'll see, but I am I already did a setup with these fine liner pens in the previous video, so I'm just going to put my swatches right next to those because they're already labeled and everything, so you're gonna see that in a minute. But just a really nice tip for you guys because the other set of markers I received do not have the same color selection in there. So these coordinate well together, the 48 Inconic pens with the 48 Real Brush pens, in case you were wondering. So it's the same colors and then let me go ahead and get the swatches going. So here is the one I did before with the fine liners and now we'll go ahead and do the setup with the Real Brush pens with the swatches next to it. So one of the things I did notice as I was going through the pen set is that some of the tips seem to have a finer point to them and some tended to be a little bit more fat, a little bit more frayed feeling. Um, you guys see that difference? Let me pull these both out. Look at the even the size of the bristles. You can see they're not exactly even. I really do like these pens though. What I can tell you is is that the finer tipped ones, the ones that seem to kind of come to a point and just kind of have a smaller feel, I think they're going to be easier for me for when I want to actually 
practice my lettering compared to some of the other pens I've tried. Let me um, show you guys just, you know, practice stroke. So what I've found is, I'm going to go this way for the light, um, is that some of the other pens, it makes it really hard to do a really thin upstroke. But this, I don't know what kind of bristles these are, but you can really get fine on your upstroke, which is what I really need the most practice on, which is usually most beginners need the most practice on the upstroke. So this fine line really is... It's really nice with these pens. You really learn control and you can get really thin. You don't have to press hard um, or, you know, just you don't get a lot of streaking. You can really go light, as light as you need to go. So that is one thing I've found with these pens. And again, I'm just a beginner, you guys, so my technique is not that great. But just wanted to kind of show you the differences in the lines and you can get a pretty thick line if you really wanted it and like I said a really thin 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 line if you really wanted it so one of the really cool things about these pens is that you have really a lot of control I have heard other planner babes talk about though uh, or lettering uh, babes about the difference between a nylon and I think there's another type of brush, but these that the nylon frays a bit more, so you get more of that like jagged edge, which you kind of see on the edges here. But I think for a beginner just trying to learn control, these pins are really great, and you get all of these awesome colors. If you're not really lettering for a professional type look, you know, like where you might be selling your lettering or even putting it up on Instagram or something. I think that these are great for like using in your journal or you, I think these pens work really well for planners. So you should be good to go. And then on the back, no bleed through. I didn't push super hard. Oh wait, I take that back. There's some shadowing on a few of them. I guess a little bit of the darker ones, but not all the way through, just like a bit of shadowing. On a whole doesn't go through most of these colors look great I think the yeah the colors that came through are like this darker purple or whatever this color is the darker purple colors are the ones that seem to bleed through a bit so all the colors match up pretty close to that fine liner set I talked about before the um, Inconic pens except for a couple of them I just saw yeah like this wisteria purple let's go to that one going to put another little dot yeah that's the color so this one is quite a bit darker than the actual Inconic fine liner pen even though they're labeled the same color so something to note there and let me just kind of browse through see if there's anything else I saw I did notice that the royal blue and the blueberry the ink looked very similar and I almost feel like these colors look a little closer and these colors look a little closer to each other so just an FYI on that and then everything else well I take that back so like yes yeah, so like this great purple was a little bit darker this seaweed green was quite a bit darker than the Inconic color the tones are similar it's just a bit darker on both of those the rest are pretty close match I'm glad that I had done this before with the fine liners and then could easily just add in the other swatches because then I would know which one's correlated and if I was going to do a setup then I have that there to help me. Okay, so those are my impressions of the real brush pens. Now let's talk about the twill markers or the twin twin markers. Twim? Maybe twin markers? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I'm sure they're trying to say like twin markers. These guys are the ones that I originally really wanted to see because they kind of reminded me of mild liners with the dual tip. Um, so let's break these guys out. And I thought these would be really cool for use in 
just my everyday planner just to add a little bit of color and spice and um, here are the colors so they come also in these plastic trays but yeah so there you can see and as I noted before the colors on this guy are different than the colors that were on the real brush pens and the Inconic so the the color um, selection is different there are a few that match up but like I said that you get different colors in this set so be aware of that they have a dual tip so I'm pull one out this tip is great for doing kind of more like a highlighter style of writing so you can do lettering with it if you wanted to you can do that thin thick thin thick um, so you could do brush lettering with it but you can also do like just to add color like a highlighter style of color like a box whatever you want to do okay and so that's why I was kind of like oh these would be really cool to have the selection to use throughout your planner and then it, on the opposite side, it has this really fine tip, very similar to the Iconic pens as far as the point size, but maybe even a little bit finer. Yeah, I would say it's even finer than the Iconic pens. These ones, in comparison, the line is a little bit thinner really great for writing if you like to write in color in your mar in your planner or journal really great for that so you've got the two options in one very handy dandy i think this set is really a good investment for those who maybe aren't that interested in lettering so much but really just want to have some markers for coloring in your journal or planner Okay, so let me go ahead and do the setup for these guys, the, the swatches, so you guys can see all the color selection in here. I already pre-labeled these just to save time, so I'm just going to go through these real quick, and um, I'll be back in a moment. So these were not in the order that they were on the back of the box. So I'm just going to make an adjustment here. I just went through the whole set and as I was going through I noticed that things were not in order but it worked out okay in the end because the one that was messed up was this yellow oh well it wasn't just that one they were all out of order but um, I could fit this one in and it didn't look completely out of place in the order or color scheme I will say that I really like these pens as far as some of the color selections that differed from the real brush pens some of these more pastel tones I think will be really nice in my planner. Um, they have a lot of pink options and purpley options, which is great. And they also have some neon ones for those of us who are all business and, you know, traditional neon colors for your highlighters. But I really like having the other selections as well, some of the softer, more muted tones in here. So I will definitely be using these um, in the future in future videos in place of mild liners just to try some different color schemes out. I got these clear blenders and what I thought they were were what was inside of here, that water brush I showed you earlier. Apparently they're not, so we're gonna figure out what these exactly do. Hot pinks tone, very hot. And then this purple tone a little bit more grapey and so what I think these guys do is actually blend those two colors together so let's 
Just see. I don't know if I need to, no, it's got liquid in there, so let's see. Hmm. It does blend out the marker a little bit, but there's still a pretty hard line there, so that's not what I thought it would do. There's also a fine tip version. Hmm. Not what I thought it would do. Okay, so Ixnate on that A. I'm going to go ahead and go, <laughs> no, I'm actually going to look up what they say they're supposed to do. So give me a second and then I'll come back. Okay, so I just looked these up and they say that they're actually to clean up, I think, the line. It says they're really helpful when you go out the line. So I'm guessing it's more like an eraser. Well, it started to peel up the paper and this is a pretty smooth, good paper. Uh, maybe it works better when you do like a watercolor paper. So yeah, I don't know how well that will work in our journals and planners. Kind of, I guess, not that great for me. I thought that they were gonna do something a little bit different, but eh, you live and you learn. So. Maybe this will work better for those of you who are doing more artistic uh, style projects with these 12 markers. Maybe if you're doing like color drawings, that might be a better use for these for you. That said, I'm gonna go ahead and try the real brush pens with a little bit of water. And then maybe an orange. And you guys can kind of see how they talk about the fray, or I've heard about the fray, it kind of opens up the hairs a bit and gives a little bit more of a spray, not super uh, tight. And then, let's see, can I... all right, so I just put a little bit of water in there just to see how this works. You guys are here with me. Do I need to do anything? Make sure you tighten the lid. It definitely will leak if you don't. That's one thing I'm finding. There we go, getting some water now, okay. It might be too late, these might have dried already. Just wanna see if we can blend these guys together. Yeah, see, they probably dried already, hang on. One more time with feeling. And just try blending these together. Okay, so if you guys are like me and you're not going to be using these for artistic on artistic papers, this might not be great for us. Um, I'm seeing very little blending as far as how well it's blending the two colors together and removing the hard line and the paper. Um, I mean, this is comparable to most planner paper. Uh, is you know it's a little bit warped from the water not too bad as far as the water isn't too bad on the paper but I'm thinking this will definitely be more beneficial if you're using watercolor paper but that said yeah this this set aside from the actual blending is really great um, I really do I really do think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of these real brush pens trying them for lettering in different colors and just you know trying to experiment with that so 
I do recommend these for beginners, especially for the price point. You get quite a bit for not too much money, especially if you get them on sale. So check that description box below if you are interested in these. And then these I think are great if you want just a variety of colors for uh, more of a like highlighting and writing style of pen. These are great for journaling and things like that. Those are the three items here and we talked about these. Um, again, I'm not real sure if these are needed for us planners, but maybe for a different type of application. And the last thing I'm gonna talk about are these chalkboard labels. I picked these guys up because I was interested in maybe using them in my planner. I thought that the sizes were gonna be a little bit more comparable to sizes of use in a planner. Pull them out. Um, Cause I saw this sheet and I thought, okay, yeah. So this is like, uh, again, if you are on my channel, these are about the sizes of focus boxes or things that I would use within my planner. However, when I opened up the full sheet, Uh, or the full set. There was a one, two, yeah, those are the same size, three, four. These are the ones I tried already. So there's only five sheets at that size. Then it came into, I'm going to put the full thing so you guys can see what sizes and the shapes that come in. There's five sheets in that size. Then there's um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, which is why I guessed. So 10 in this slightly larger size, and there's no square on this page, which again, I was a little bit disappointed because I was like thinking these would be really cute it was focus boxes on like um, horizontal spreads and kind of mixing and matching and putting them in, and then maybe like writing on them with a uh, white opaque pen. I'll show you an example. Um, let me get back to that. So let me finish that. So there's five of these, 10 of these, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, I believe 15 of these. So of these bigger ones. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to write on one that I don't think is as cute. I'll be like, you know, just something kind of different, add a little pizzazz to the planner. Um, I still could use these though. I just, I don't know. I looked at them and I thought that the shapes and stuff weren't as as exciting as I wanted them to be. I do like these simpler shapes a lot better. The kind of squares mixed in with, I don't know, different little bubbles and loops. I, I'm not a big fan of that, at least in my planner. So that idea kind of went to the wayside. They include these chalkboard pins in the set. However, it's supposed to be white, blue, and yellow, uh, lemon yellow, but I got too blue for some reason. I'm not sure if that was just a mistake or what happened there in my set, but um, yeah, I got too blue, which is fine. Um, I wasn't really that interested in the colors anyway. I was more interested in just like white because I like white markers. Um, but yeah, so that's a little bit disappointing. What I was thinking I could use these for was in my kitchen labeling, you know, like flour, sugar, things like that. Also, I'm doing some Christmas jar gifts and I thought maybe I could use those on that to kind of label, you know, the what kind of cookies they are, or just say Merry Christmas using these labels, these bigger labels. So, that is kind of what I think about those. The label is super thin, so it is good for using in a planner or something. It is like really, it's thinner than some of the stickers I currently use, like even the clear stickers that I use. Um, so that is one good thing. Well, let me try with, a, with the chalk marker. So when you get these chalk markers, you need to press down on them until the ink comes out like that. 
and that one didn't take long so that was ready to go and so let's say I wanted to say sugar oh that's interesting so these markers tend to be really wet I don't like that it's almost like water um, I'll, I'm gonna show for comparison another chalk marker I have and it is like I don't know if you guys can see the difference. So, hmm, I don't know. This might not be the set for you. If my overall opinion is that I was really hoping for smaller stickers, there's not as many as I had hoped for. The ink is not great, and yeah, and then I got to blue. So that that just this one I would probably not recommend for you guys to purchase if you are looking for some chop chalk board labels or chalkboard um, stickers to use in a planner or in your kitchen or whatever application. Yeah, so I'm not even gonna, I'm kinda, yeah, see, look at that. It's gonna, this is gonna smear all over the place. Grab a tissue. A little bit disappointed with the outcome of this set, unfortunately. But yeah, so I just wanted to give it a try. Like I said, I am a fan of the two sets I talked about before, but if you are interested in anything that I show today, there will be links below in the description. So check that out. Also be sure to um, check out the sales that are going on on the Arteza website. The link will also be below. So if you don't go direct to the product, um, if you just want to see what other things they have there, uh, feel free to go and check them out. And I thank you guys so much for watching. I will be using these products in another video to come, more of a bullet journaling style. So I will talk about them a little bit more as I use them and show them to you guys more then. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up down below. Go ahead and leave me a comment if you'd like to get in touch and think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, if you'd like to see more of my videos. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys and we'll see you next time. Bye.